the curved distance for mixed data. Let's see. So what do we mean by mixed data? Mixed data is data where different features of the data set have different types. So uh, some examples are like, you know, real numbers or categorical or binary or ordinal data. So let's see an example, a toy data set of mixed data. So let's look at this toy data set and we have the country here, uh, which is a categorical variable. And we have the movie, which is a rating, which is the ordinal variable. It's one star, two star, three star, four star versus five star. The director is again a categorical variable. And in this data set, it takes the value between, you know, three variables, uh, Alfred Hitchcock, Steven Spielberg, and uh, S.S. Rajamouli, right? And the box office earning is a numeric variable. So it is a subset of a real variable where you would only have positive values, right? So this is an example of a mixed data set. And some of the challenges with this data are that you cannot typically apply all your machine learning algorithms directly because these points don't sit in the 4D Euclidean space and uh, you cannot apply like k-means for instance because you can't find the mean of these points um, because they're like you know categorical and even before that how do we compute the distance between two points right so if I want to find whether this first row USA is closer to the second row uh, with uh, uh, this first movie, right, which is made in USA and uh, has a rating of five and is made by Spielberg. Uh, is it closer to the second movie or the fourth movie? How do you definitively say that, right? So to answer some of these questions and to work with mixed data in our machine learning models, one of the first things we need to figure out is a notion of distance. And go over distance is something that addresses this exact problem. So there are a bunch of ways we can deal with mixed data, but go over distance is one of them, right? So the idea here is to use a different metric for each feature, right? And then aggregate the distances along various features to come up with an overall distance between two data points. Take the feature-wise distances between the two data points and then aggregate them to get the overall distance. So this is a very simple formula saying the same thing. So if P is the number of features, you just average the feature-wise distance, where the feature-wise distance uh, we are calling sj x1 x2. So note that some people use similarity, some people use distance, uh, but we will go with distance here, not similarity. But we just have the variable s. Please don't mind that. Right? Okay. So specifically, the way the Gower distance works is, how do you compute this feature-wise distance? That's the next question. Right? So. Um, Let's say you have two data points, x1 and x2, and you look at feature j. Suppose that j is a categorical feature. Then the way you compute the distance is uh, sj of x1, x2. So the distance between xj, x1 and x2 along for the jth feature is 0 if the values are the same. The jth feature is the same for both these points, and it is 1 otherwise. So let's look at this example. So if you were to take point one and point two, right? The first column, the country feature is different for both these data points. So the distance between these points is one for the country feature. If you look at point one and point four, both are USA. So the distance between for the country feature is zero, right? Between point one and point four. That's how you calculate the feature wise distance. And now if you want to, uh, suppose it's a numeric uh, feature. For example, you take a feature such as box office earning. So if you take one and four again, so you would take the difference of the values between both these uh, uh, data points for that feature, and you'll take the absolute value of the difference. So that's about 1700 here. And then you will divide it by the range of the column. The range of the column is nothing but the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value, right? So the idea is to get a value between zero and one. So each of these terms will be a value between 0 and 1. The feature-wise distance will be between 0 and 1 for each of the features. And when you average them out, you'll again get a value between 0 and 1, right? If you have an ordinal feature, so an ordinal feature is like a rank or a, a, a rating, right? You can do the absolute difference again divided by 
the maximum ordinal value that's something that they common that's commonly used again you can do this in two three different ways but this is a commonly used uh, way of doing it right so this is how you aggregate these individual feature wise distances and what you get is a matrix so if you have like this toy data set with four data points you would get a four by four matrix you know so point distance between point one point one point one point two point one point three point one point four point two point one point two uh, point two point two point three point two point four and so on right you get a matrix so how do you use this uh, go over distance let's look at a small python example the good thing is that this is nicely implemented for us you just need to pip install go over and then uh, i pulled out this example from pypy so you can generate some data mixed data so here is a data set with um, you know uh, some kind of a marital status which has married single and uh, divorced and so on it has a gender which is binary variable uh, so it has binary categorical and uh, real and so on right has mixed data and you can say gover dot gover matrix and it will give you a distance matrix which is like you know the pair of uh, for every pair of points it will give you the distance in a matrix form now it uh, the gover has some uh, functionality you can call directly for example you can do like gover top in but otherwise um, you can also use gover in like you know let's say a knn classifier for instance you can do import gover uh, and from scikit learn neighbors import k neighbors classifier let's say and then what you can do is you can initialize you know your training data and test data let's say and you have this x train and y train x train is your data set with mixed features and then what you do is uh, k nearest neighbors classifier metric equals pre computed and you do a fit with gover dot gover matrix so it takes as argument a distance matrix which you are computing using this gover and then you give the labels as usual for your classifier right the training labels so uh, this is a way you can plug in gover into a classifier and uh, you can actually um, do classification for mixed data so to summarize we quickly saw recapped what mixed data was and we saw what gover distance is for mixed data so the gover distance actually does like a feature wise uh, distance depending on the data type for each feature when you take two data points and then aggregates them to get the overall distance between two data points and gives us a distance matrix and this matrix can be used in ml algorithms right so um, or other data science applications so if you want to look at the original paper you can go back to the 1971 paper by gover uh, and take a look so i hope you use gover's distance very soon in your projects thank you